Hey everyone, we're back, but this time with a different kind of video. We've got a game here called Delete. Now, with these kind of puzzle games, what often happens is that they don't just tell you the rules, they show you them by you playing the game. So we're going to dive straight in here, and I think what we've got here is a left click with a zero. So I think that means that we can say there's nothing touching the zero with left clicks. And over here, it's showing us to do a right click with the number eight. And you can see there are eight squares around the eight. So I assume what we're saying is we don't want to touch them. And you can see the number in the middle actually goes down to zero. So that is what the numbers mean. It's how many of the negative or the bad squares are touching that square itself. So let's click forward. Now using that, I know nothing's touching this zero, so I can click those out. I know nothing's touching this zero, so I can click these, but look now I've got a one. There's only one square touching it, which is this one. There's only one square touching this one, which is here. And actually look, there's two more, it's got to be those. So that is how this works. The number inside the square is how many of those pesky negative squares, which we don't want, are touching it. So zero here, we can absolutely clear around. I pressed the wrong button then. So we can clear these. Two are touching here, two are touching there. So we've done that one. Nice and simple. Let's take a look here. So we know none of these three because diagonals count. So we can get rid of them, get rid of these three, get rid of these three and these three as well. Now it's a simple case, isn't it, of just these last four. And isn't that satisfying when the zeros pop up? Lovely. Okay. Oh, 3D. Let's see what it's telling us. Okay. Ah, right. If I click on the number, it shows me where it's influencing. So zero means there's nothing on anything I can see here. So I can click this. Oh, interesting. So now if I click on this two, ah, there are two within that three. Okay, I'll come back to that. So that means there's one here, there's only one here. But look, this zero is really powerful, isn't it? Because we can get rid of these. Zeros are always powerful, I'm going to get rid of them. Now there's two here, obviously that's just those two. And now two here has to be these two, which means actually if we only have one touching this, it's here or here. But if we have two down there, it's got to be these two, which means this is clear. It's basically Minesweeper, but in 3D. And I think there might be some kind of tricks to do with the 3D logic soon. So this is zero, let's click on it, it's just those three. Now my brain's playing tricks with me here. It looks like is it a cube coming out or is it just an alcove going in? Either way, we can get rid of these three. Now the zeros, always I'll get rid of them. Nothing's touching this one, nothing's touching this one, nothing's touching these because they're zero. Do the same up here, can't be anything there. And now we've got numbers, so there's only one touching this one, so that's safe. Now this zero tells us nothing is here. We have a zero, so we can get rid of that. And a zero, and a zero. <laughs> so get rid of all of those. Now look, with the four, there's only four that, it, that are remaining. So they must all be red blocks, which leaves this as a red block as well. So the logic really is making sense here. But the 3D is going to start messing with our brains, I think. So zero here, let's get rid of it. Zero here. Look at that, it influences quite far up, actually. We can get rid of all of them. Uh, this zero influences all of those blocks. Let's get rid of those. This zero influences, influences these. Now there's a one here. Look, that's got to be that one. So let's make that red. There's a one here, which has got to be this one. Make that red. Now we don't know about this one. Could be either of them. But let's go down here to this two. Look, there's only two remaining. So it's these two. This one here, that's touching those. But look, this zero tells us that this is a safe so there's only one left now we can say this is red now if this is zero here all of these are safe if that's zero these two are safe this one only has one space to go in so there's a red square there now this zero is going to help us out massively look one two three uh let's oh i pressed the wrong button they're safe so we can get rid of them and now we have a one there which could go in either of those but we have a two here that could go in any of them. Now, what's really interesting about this is that if there's a one in one of them, we know it can go into either of them, right? 
but if there's a two touching now what we can say there is this surely has to be red no it means it's safe my goodness what's wrong with my logic here so there's one in one of them and there's one in one of them so if there's one in that to those two blocks and there's one in those two blocks this one has to be one that's what the logic was telling us now this one's obviously safe because the zero is touching uh i got my logic all mixed up there but we are safe thankfully i didn't lose all my lives you can see on the left hand side actually these are your lives so you get two lives every single time i needed them then so these zeros i feel like this is kind of cheating using this but i'm going to carry on for a second until i'm super confident at least now one here that means that this must be a red block now these zeros are going to get rid of that one here and one here and one here so if there's one in this block and there's one in that block that tells me that this cannot be a red block because it just doesn't make logical sense so there's one in there and there's one in there could be either of them now looking at this one there's a one here and there's a one there now thinking about this again using the same logic if there's one and one well that's telling me that it must be here so if it's in either of those two or either of these two the middle one had to be the red because it's the only overlap so here we have one and one we can't tell yet but this zero is really powerful now because we can get rid of all of these therefore this is a red block and now look we've actually got nothing left but i assume this zero yes look it goes over to the side so these are safe this zero tells us that these three are safe this zero tells us that this whole piece here is safe now we've got a two there and there's only two that it touches so this is safe this is safe and this zero actually touches oh i pressed the wrong button again lost the life for nothing it touches all the way around uh this one so one of those is a red square one of these three is a red square and look at that twos touching so many oh my gosh so these two two of these three one two three two of them are red squares and one of these is a red square so that means that this bottom one has to be a red square now only one of this is a red square <laughs> one of these is a red square one of these so we actually don't know which one we don't know which one there but there's only one in here as well so if there's only one in there and one in here there has to be one in here there has to be one in there so this one cannot be the red square so this is the red square this is safe we've got one here and one here now if we think about this logic there's one red square in these three faces and there's still only one red square in these four faces so we did not gain a red square here so this is safe and this zero means we can whack these off there we got none of the red blocks now we've got a one here and a one in here obviously look it has to be this one it's the only one that makes sense and this one is safe we got there the logic really is ramping up already my goodness let's try another one whoa six six okay one two three four five six seven eight so six of the red two of them are safe two of the blocks are safe now one here's the thing here we only have a maximum of two safe blocks okay two safe blocks have to go somewhere that means that in this three minimum minimum one is safe okay, so six red blocks, sorry. minimum one is safe has to be has to be because we could have if you think about this one from here now six of these are red right so six of these are red one two three four five six seven eight so then after this two are safe there are two safe blocks in these eight squares these eight places. but here's something really interesting now so that means that we could have two safe spaces here but look there's a one there is a one so that one means that it must go down here okay it must go in this block because that means that the two non-red faces are here else this number would be greater so that means that there's one touching it has to go in there okay the one has to go in this line it simply has to due to logic because look one two three four five there's going to be one in here there's just got to be okay that is just means that this touching it here that is safe and this is safe this one had to be in here somewhere now we've got the zero we can unlock all of this this one has to go here and look those numbers come down so satisfying isn't it now there are two two touching this there's only two that are actually available so these two are both red squares now look there's three left one two three 
and that's what I was talking about earlier these two being the safe ones they had to be in this column now look all these zeros they're gonna help us massively let's get rid of them this zero is going to help us get rid of all of these faces this zero doesn't touch anything we've got a one here which must just be that and we've got a one left here now look again one and one one and one so let's see if we can find any overlaps here yes look there is one in these two and there's still one in those two plus the extra ones up here so these extra ones cannot be read else this one would go up so they're safe here we have one and one but look, there's no overlap there there's going to be one touching in here which one's which yeah i'm not too sure one there and one here yes look here's the logic well that has to be one so we don't need to go any further than that now these are all zero so we can get rid get rid we can get rid get rid get rid this zero helps us get rid get rid get rid and now we're gonna to have to use some more logic so one there and one here now this is all this is the best kind of logic to use one of those two faces that light up are red one of these three faces are red we know it's here it has to be in one of those two so this is safe now here we have a one and a two but that two's way too influential way too tricky for us so let's think about it this way that one of those is red one of those is red which doesn't help us and this two is massive so if we know one of these two are red then we know one only one of, of i didn't mean to press that only one of these are red as well so we have one red in these two one red in these three and it has to be in here so this is safe now it's zero that's massive because that helps us do that one obviously is touching there this one obviously is touching there zero is safe one it has to be there uh, this one this one look there's only one place for this one it goes right there zero 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 we solved that oh now it's this one now it's this one there's one touching that and there's one touching that now how can i be sure for positive that one of these is the right one well i'm hoping this one here is going to tell me yes it does look there's one there there's only one space so that's a red now this is zero 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 Whew. my brain is getting frazzled already let's try another one. Oh, blue button what do blue buttons do hmm okay should i press one whoa okay well let's just use the zero first uh, and get rid of anything that's touching it so we can get rid of all of these and these two count as well can i press it i want to press it again oh my goodness okay so now look that changes what influences what each number influences so these are zeros get rid of them that's a zero get rid of that one these two are zeros get rid of those now we've got rid of the zeros i'm actually going to reset this oh look the numbers change now these zeros mean i can get rid of these two this one these two Oh my goodness i love this the numbers are changing this must be red this one one of these are red two of those are red well it must be that one one of that is red one of those is red one of those are red one of those are red that could be different couldn't it that's obviously a red two of those are red one of those are red that doesn't really help me let's go across here did that change anything then oh that two changed Oh, this is interesting. This two, watch it. So, two of those are red at the minute. Oh, <laughs> the two disappears. I think it's this one. Two of those are red. Still two. Oh, look, one. That has to be red. This one, one goes there. One has to go there. Two goes there. Look. So, aha, look. One's here. We add one. So, there's two faces that light up. So, one of those two faces are red. Now, there are three faces that light up. And there's an extra red so this must be a red good now there's one here and there's one here i suppose it could be that one and that one so we can't tell for sure there let's press some buttons see what we can get this is a one that's a two and that's a one okay so that's a two and that's one oh, wait a minute if that's a two and that's a one we lost this one and gained that one 
So we lost the red and we gained the non-red. Yes, good logic, good logic. One here, one here. Okay, that doesn't really help us. Two, doesn't really help. Okay, let's have a think. Let's press some buttons, see if it helps us now. One here, one there. Ah, here we go, look. These two faces have one red. These four faces still have one red. So these two cannot be red. Yes, zeros. Zeros are an absolute lifesaver. Okay, get rid of that. Two there, it must be those two. This one is a zero, obviously. This one is a one, has to be. There's only one touching there now. And one here. So we lost one. We could gain one. Okay, there's one in them two. There's one in them two. Oh, look at the top. I've only just realized there are two left. That tells us how many are left. That could be so valuable. No, there's only one in both of them. So could it be here? If it was, then that one would have to be there. Yes, yes. Okay, now I'm scared. The zero there. Okay, so that's safe. Oh, I think I've done it. And I've only just realized that it tells you in the top right how many are left. That could be really helpful. But I'm going to press this. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I think we've solved it. Oh, there's a hidden square, but that's zero. So we can get rid of it. And we finally solved it. My goodness. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Something slightly different but still comes some kind of logical puzzle. And it's even got some spatial reasoning in here, moving these blocks around and trying to figure out if this is true, then that is true, then that is true, then this is true, and going down a logic rabbit hole. So guys, let us know if you like this video. Leave a like on the video, please, if you did enjoy it. And let us know in the comments section if you want us to carry on playing this game.